Intravenous fluorescein angiography or fluorescent angiography is a technique for examining the circulation of the retina and choroid using a fluorescent dye and a specialized camera. It involves injection of sodium fluorescein into the systemic circulation, and then an angiogram is obtained by photographing the fluorescence emitted after illumination of the retina with blue light at a wavelength of 490 nanometers. The test uses the dye tracing method. The fluorescein dye also reappears in the patient urine, causing the urine to appear darker, and sometimes orange. It can also cause discoloration of the saliva. Fluorescein angiography is one of several healthcare applications of this dye, all of which have a risk of severe adverse effects. See Fluorescein safety in healthcare applications. Fluorescein angiography does not involve the use of ionizing radiation. Equipment Exciter filter, allows only blue light to illuminate the retina. Depending on the specific filter, the excitation wavelength hitting the retina will be between 465 to 490 nanometers. Most only allow light through at a wavelength of 490 nanometers. Barrier filter, allows only yellow green light to reach the camera. Both filters are interference bandpass filters which means they block out all light except that at a specific wavelength. The barrier filter only allows light with a wavelength of 525 nanometers, but depending on the filter it can be anywhere from 520 to 530 nanometers. Fundus camera either digital or with camera body containing black and white, or slide positive film. Technique, baseline color and black and white red free filtered images are taken prior to injection. The black and white images are filtered red free to increase contrast and often gives a better image of the fundus than the color image. A 6 second bolus injection of 2 to 5 cc of sodium fluorescein into a vein in the arm or hand. A series of black and white or digital photographs are taken of the retina before and after the fluorescein reaches the retinal circulation. The early images allow for the recognition of autofluorescence of the retinal tissues. Photos are taken approximately once every second for about 20 seconds, then less often. A delayed image is obtained at 5 and 10 minutes. Some doctors like to see a 15-minute image as well. A filter is placed in the camera so only the fluorescent, yellow-green light is recorded. The camera may however pick up signals from pseudofluorescence or autofluorescence. In pseudofluorescence, non-fluorescent light is imaged. This occurs when blue light reflected from the retina passes through the filter. This is generally a problem with older filters, and annual replacement of these filters is recommended. In autofluorescence, fluorescence from the eye occurs without injection of the dye. This may be seen with optic nerve hydrocene, astrocytic hematoma, or calcific scarring. Black and white photos give better contrast than color photos which aren't necessary since only one color is being transmitted though the filter. Normal circulatory filling, times are approximate, 0 seconds a euro injection of fluorescein, 9.5 seconds a euro posterior ciliary arteries, 10 seconds a euro choroidal flush, 10 to 12 seconds a euro retinal arterial stage, 13 seconds a euro capillary transition stage, 14 to 15 seconds a euro early venous stage, 16 to 17 seconds a euro venous stage, 18 to 20 seconds a euro late venous stage, 5 minutes a euro late staining, fluorescein enters the ocular circulation from the internal carotid artery via the ophthalmic artery. The ophthalmic artery supplies the choroid via the short posterior ciliary arteries and the retina via the central retinal artery, however, the route to the choroid is typically less circuitous than the route to the retina. This accounts for the short delay between the choroidal flush and retinal filling. Pathologic findings Pathologic changes are recognized by the detection of either hyperfluorescence or hyperfluorescence. Causes of hyperfluorescence Window transmission defects, leaking defects, pooling defects, staining, abnormal vasculature, causes of hyperfluorescence, blocking defect, filling defect. Fluorescein angiography is used by physicians specializing in the treatment of eye diseases to evaluate the vasculature of the retina, choroid, optic disc, and iris. Among the common groups of ophthalmologic disease, fluorescein angiography can detect diabetic retinopathy, vein occlusions, 
retinal artery occlusions, edema of the optic disc, and tumors. Additionally, the transit time can provide an objective measurement of the rate of blood flow through the imaged blood vessels. Other types of fluorescent angiography, endocyanine green angiography. See also, fundus camera. References, fluorescine angiography at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, fluorescine angiography. U.S. National Library of Medicine. MED Line Plus. Retrieved December 14, 2012. ABC Q. Naimoto, Derek. Colonel Knightka. Mary Makar. The Wills I Manual, Office and Emergency Room Diagnosis and Treatment of Eye Disease Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lippincott Williams and Wilkins. Pages 365. ISBN 978-0781742078. Kuma, Vinay. Chapter 29, I, Retina and Vitreous, Retinal Vascular Disease. Robin's Basic Pathology. Philadelphia, Saunders Elsevier. ISBN 978-1416029731. Equals Additional References Equals, Gisbert, Gisbert Richard. Giselle Subrain. Lawrence Y. Yamnuzi. Fluorescine Angiography. Textbook and Atlas. Stuttgart, Thiam. ISBN 0-86577-712-8. Kornsky, Jack J. Clinical Ophthalmology, A Systematic Approach. Edinburgh, Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 978-0750655415.